In this video, I will be packaging River executable installation file into MSI file. And the main reason for that is to deploy the software using group policy. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And also, if we scroll down a bit, we can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about how to install and use Wix. Then we have a few videos about Windows Registry, and that's because River installation is not a simple installation. And that's because River needs to be installed for each user on the computer. And also the installation needs to be executed from the user profile. And to achieve that, we'll be using Windows functionality called Run Once and Active Setup. So if you want more details about how everything works, you can check out the videos right here. And here I have a video about PSExec, and this is only to test the MSI file that we'll be creating because PSExec allows us to execute the installation under the system account. And I want to make sure that the software installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to deploy the software because most of the de software deployment tools are deploying the software under the system account. So now let's begin this video by talking about how the MSI file will work. And this MSI file will not be installing the software, but it will prepare the computer for the software installation. And it will accomplish that by performing two actions. One of them is by placing the installation executable in C program data folder. And that's because this folder is accessible for all users with read permissions. And then it will create active setup registry key. And after that, the installation process will look like this. Basically, the user signs into the computer, Active Setup creates Run Once registry entry, then the user's desktop loads, and then Run Once will start the software installation. And this process will happen for each user on the computer once during the login process. And it will happen for users that already exist on the computer and the users that we'll be creating in the future. And now I will start creating the MSI package, but first we need to download the River executable. For that, I will use the link that I have here. It brings us to the River download page. I will be downloading the Windows version. And then let's go to uh, my downloads folder. And as you can see, we have the executable right here. The next thing that we need is the Wix configuration file. And I will be using the Wix configuration file that I have here. It's called template. So I will click on it. And then I will click on this download button right here. And now we have two files in our download folder, the river executable and the Wix configuration file. So first I will rename the Wix configuration file. I will name it river and then I will right click it and then I will open it with Visual Studio Code. You can use any text editor to open it. And as you can see, it's an XML file. Basically it's instructions for Wix on how to package the MSI file for us. And it can get quite complicated. That's why I like to create templates and then reuse them for my different types of uh, software deployment projects. And here we mainly care about this area right here because here we need to fill in river specific information for this package. So first we need to name our MSI package and I will name it river installer. Then for the exe we need to provide the executable name for that i will go to my downloads folder right click on the river executable file select rename then i will select the full name that includes the extension right click once again and i will copy the name and i will go back to visual studio and paste in the value right here once again make sure to include the extension Next, we need to provide a silent switch because we want to perform the installation silently. And that's because we don't want the installation to interrupt our users. And we can find the silent switch in my GitHub page right here. So I will select it, copy it, go back to Visual Studio and paste in the value right here. Now we need to, for the path, we need to provide the location where we currently have our executable so for me it's d drive and downloads folder next we need to provide the version number but this version number is only for this msi file and it's not that unnecessary but i like to keep the same version number for my msi file as the executable that i have 
So in this case, I will copy the version number from the executable name and I will paste it here. And then for the publisher, this is not very important also, but it's a mandatory field. I will enter, let's do automation. And the last, last parameter is grid. Basically, this is a unique identifier for this uh, MSI file. And to generate it, I will go back to my GitHub page and here I have a PowerShell command. So I will select it, copy it, open up my terminal window. You can also use the regular PowerShell window for it. It works the same. I will paste in the command and press enter. And as you can see, it generated as a unique identifier. And every time I enter the command, it generates another one. So I will select one of them and paste in the value here. And that's basically it. We have filled in all the necessary information to create this package. So now I will close the Visual Studio. Then I will go back to my terminal. And here I want to change the directory in my terminal to the location where I have my VIX configuration file. So for me, it's cd d and then downloads folder and i will press enter and if i type there i can see my river uh, wix configuration file and then the executable and now to generate the msi file i need to type wix build and then we need to provide the configuration file name so in my case it's river i will press enter and go back to my downloads folder and now let's wait for the file to generate and it appeared here and now we can test this msi file so for that i will right click on it copy it go to my vmware workstation where i have a virtual machine prepared here i also have this software folder so i will move the msi file to this folder and in this folder i also have my psexec executable so now we want to go to start menu, type in cmd to open a command line and run it as administrator. Now we want to change our directory in our command line to the directory where we have our files. So for that I will click on the location here and I will copy it. Here I will type cd, paste in the directory and if I type there we can see our psexec executable and the river msi files and if i type who am i we can see that currently this command line is running under the admin account so like i said i will be testing the installation under the system account so for that i will use ps exec minus i for interactive and minus s to start the process under the system account and then for the process i will type cmd because i want to open another cmd window but this time under the system account and i will press enter i will agree with the license terms and we have another cmd window and this time if i type who am i we can see that this uh, cmd window is running under anti authority system user this means that everything that i am doing in this window i am doing it as a system account so once more we want to change the directory in this command line to the directory where we have our files so i'll type cmd paste in the directory press enter if i type there once again we can see our files here so now to start the river installation i will type the msi file name so river.msi and then slash un for the silent installation also we can add cmdc for us to have an indicator on when the installation is done and press enter and it seems that the installation has finished instantly and now let's look around and see what happened in our system so first i will press windows button on my keyboard and r to open the run then i will type control to open the control panel and click on install a program and here we have our installed program list and as you can see here we can see our river installer installed and the publisher is so let's do automation but we don't have the software itself because like i said 
this MSI file is not installing the software, but it's preparing our computer for the software installation. So now, now let's check our C program data folder. And here we have this packages folder. Let's go inside. Now we can uh, see another folder with a grid instead of the name. And here we can see our executable for the river setup. So the file was moved successfully here. Next, let's check out our registry. For that, I will open the start menu, type reg edit, and run as administrator. And yes. And now let's check active setup registry key. So for that, I need to go to local machine, software, wow, 64 node, uh, Microsoft active setup, installed components, and we are looking for this grid right here. So it's a 9.3 and it's this one, yeah. So we have our active setup registry entries for the river installation. So it seems that the MSI package worked successfully. It did all the necessary steps that we needed. So I will close all the windows. And now let's relock and see if the software installation will be successful. So I will go back to my start menu, click on my user and sign out. Now let's sign back in and let's see what happens. We can try to open Tax Manager to see if the river installation has started. And as you can see, we have a river executable currently running. So let's wait and see what happens. And as you can see, we have our river desktop icon right here. I can try to open it. And it seems to be working just fine. And this installation process will happen for each user on the computer once, even for those users that we'll be creating in the future. So that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.